oceans are threatened today as never before. Um, as a consumer, there are a number of things I can do to, to make a difference. By voting with your wallet, with your dollars, by going out and creating a market for sustainable seafood, you're actually creating opportunities for more people to fish and farm in those ways that are ecologically responsible. And that way we're going to see a return of some of these species that have been in decline. So actually, I think that we're actually helping fishermen and farmers to, do, to, to promote the best practices and then to create the market that's going to enable change. In terms of probably the species that's the poster child for overfishing and the way that um, we've really kind of gone after one species in our oceans, that would have to be the bluefin tuna. It's something that we see pretty regularly on a sushi menu. So it may be, you know, taro or, ma or maguro might be something you've seen on a, a, a sushi menu. And in fact, we have a sushi pocket guide that alerts people to that. That when you're sometimes buying a, a something in a, in a sushi restaurant, it's, it's sometimes hard to know what even species you're eating. If you're at the fish counter or in a restaurant, you can ask yourself server or you know the wait staff um, you know what do you know about this fish how where was it from how was it caught or was it farmed and so you by asking those types of questions you can help narrow down if you're in the seafood aisle you know it's hard to ask a can anything but sometimes cans do give you some clues so if you're buying canned salmon which can be a really good choice if it's from Alaska if you look on the top of the can it's going to tell you if it came from Alaska if it's stamped right in the top of the can while caught Alaska you know that's going to be a great choice we recently changed our recommendation for canned tuna and we're actually asking you to look out for troll or pole caught. That's where it's caught kind of hook and line one fish at a time, the old-fashioned way of fishing. And that's going to be right there on, this, on the side of the can on the label. Some people like to look for dolphin safe and dolphin friendly. And uh, you know, I, I love that people are looking for those kind of labels, but in the US actually you can't buy something that's not dolphin safe or dolphin friendly. It's actually the law. So the other thing to look for if, if you're shopping in the store, and, and some restaurants actually also have, carry this label, is look for the Marine Stewardship Council. That's an independent third body certification that this fishery is certified as sustainable to the standards of the Marine Stewardship Council. You'll find the logo um, on the, the package or on a can. It's, it's also on the back of a, a pocket guide, so if you want to see what the label looks like. But basically it's a fish with a check mark in it which tells you it's certified as sustainable. So that's another great indication that you're buying something from a good source.